say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. Yay. that was there. Good afternoon. Today's not been a good day so far. I'm in a lot of pain. So I tried to say to Soph, can I have some warm off please? And she looked in the kitchen and was like, no, no you can't. And um, she comes in here like, she's like, you've used it all. And she comes in here and she's like, is there any in there? And I'm like, I looked round. There's a bottle there. I didn't even know it was there. I literally just got my glasses from in front of it. And I didn't know it was there. That's terrible. That makes so, as you guys are aware, we was going to go to the hospital today for an appointment with my chest clinic. The pain has been pretty bad. So... I'm kind of stuck in one position today. Abba, come sit with the blankie. Wow. Yay. Yay! Good girl. Yay. It was also freezing when we woke up this morning. It's still freezing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the pain, I wouldn't have lasted in my wheelchair. So, we've had to cancel it and rearrange it. It is rearranged for oh goodness I don't remember now they're sending out um, the letter anyway um, it's funny because I've been making an appointment list and sticking it on the sofa with a, with a pin and so far this is the third time I've had to rewrite it because more point, appointments have been added and like to take other ones away and literally, this is still our appointment list. That one there. You put orthodontic. Yeah. Is that not my orthopedic appointment? No, you've got orthodontic down the bottom. And you've got orthopedic on the 12th. And orthodontic is in January. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, currently we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight appointments between now and the one in january so literally it's been lots of and it's been like this now for the last month month and a half as well can you see this bruise that was alba i'm not impressed and then this morning when we were cuddling in bed with alba she did this one this I one's it stung like a bitch if you've ever had like um a cannula put in and they put it in not in the right place and it you get that sting and instant bleed that it felt the exact same but anyway we are now we're still home we're just about to have a coffee and then it's carrying on with each other's anniversary presents Yay. um this morning i heard from our friend who's um little boys in intensive care and it looks like he's got a really bad chest infection and they've turned around and said that they're not taking him off the ventilator until that infection's pretty much gone so obviously they've got him on IV antibugs and um they're like hoovering it out through the with like suction stuff through the intubation tube so now we just got to hope that it clears up quickly and he's not stuck on the ventilator for too long. Because that wouldn't be good. So we're literally going to carry on with the program that we're watching, which is atypical. And this is what, series three? Yeah, I think so. Literally amazing. Okay. It's on Netflix. It's Netflix original, isn't it? I think so. It is so good. It's funny. It's... Educational. Yeah, it's, it's about... Um, 
a teenage boy on the spectrum and he's not on the spectrum in real life but he plays the part absolutely fantastically it's lich i mean i used to look after kids on the spectrum and he is to the like to the point of perfectness of matching it, like someone who has like autism or an asperger's or something like that and it's really good yeah so if you have netflix go watch it and we're gonna have our coffee hopefully that'll get me awake and um i'll catch up with you later finally able look at this look at this straight away she's on a mission going through all the bottles and that's stuff in it babe oh yeah i don't need it anymore and now she's well excited that she finally gets the box that she tried getting the other day and sticking her head in it and yeah me hat look at her bun is that yours elba is it wow it's probably too low down wow baby girl those sorts of homes would be uh, boxes would be perfect for uh, this smell. I didn't even look. No, you didn't. Elba, where's your new box? It's <laughs> not a box. <laughs> Come on, where's your new box? Go get your box. Okay. <laughs> what about the box? My 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 round disc. <laughs> that excitement was so short lived. the other way again that's mine don't be so rude man it bloody slides Appointment. And now Pickles moved on to Rodney. Bless him. Good evening. So we were both doing um, our anniversary presents to each other. And it got to about five o'clock and I'm like, I'm really tired. So I just went to sleep for an hour and a half. Um, about to have some tea now. But just before I woke up I heard that my phone went off um, you know when you're in that kind of I'm aware that it's happened but I'm going to stay asleep sort of situation and when I did wake I then looked at it and it is a text from the GP surgery saying that now I can download this app called Livy, I think. L I V I is all in capitals. And 
you can speak to a GP via video conference. And I'm like, I really don't like this. Like, what happened to speaking to a GP in person? Like, normal people? So I went online to investigate. Was that good, Dixie? Yeah, Dixie? Was that nice? <laughs> she, she ignored me at first. Um, and basically, you sign up, and it's a free service, seven days a week. Generally, you, you can get um, a video call back within, like, half an hour. And there's a, an array of doctors... Not from your GP surgery. They're literally doctors part of this app. That is all. And they're now suggesting you make appointments via that. You don't need to go to waiting rooms. You can be in the comfort of your own home. And this is the new way forward. And it's like... How can a doctor properly examine the situation via a video on your phone it's going to come to the point that going to the gp is a thing of the past i mean you can still go to the gp you can still do the whole book an appointment go to the waiting room and go see them and if you've guys because guys have been with us a little while you'll know how hard the situation is currently with RGP that um, half the time they're in emergency appointments only and the receptionist asks what is that's wrong and they'll decide whether you get an appointment or not, which is wrong in itself. But, um, yeah, they've now got this thing out that you don't even speak to a GP at your own surgery. You don't even see a doctor in person. It's via your phone on a video conference. Which, yes, that's absolutely fantastic if, like with my back, I, I'm i stuck at home and I can't get out. But then it falls to the fact that your doctor cannot physically examine you or look at something properly via a video on your phone. So, yeah, my back could restrict me or make me struggle to get to the GP, but then my doctor can examine my back via a, a video call. And I just... It's ridiculous. I was going to say that the only reason I could think that it would be helpful is for people with mental health problems but a lot of people with mental health problems the thought of trying to have a video call with someone it's daunting it is i won't i would never especially do it. with the fact that it's not doctors from your own gp mm. surgery it's these random doctors in a building somewhere in the uk which doesn't really sound and all like, that nice. It's, it's really obviously they're, they're presumably they're going to have some good qualifications. But, yeah, there'll be a registered GP and stuff. But there's still like going to be like I would still be thinking, well, how do I know that you're actually that doctor and you're not just some random person like who just happens to be in that building? Yeah. I mean, I just I like the they. I think it said on the website that. They can do referral to specialist sur that, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, so like referral to the hospital. But when you have this referral to the hospital, you need to give them an up-to-date blood pressure, pulse, um, like weight, weight height. And yes, we have a blood pressure machine at home, but not that many people actually do. We have it because of my pots. If I didn't have pots, 
we wouldn't have one. So how are they supposed to get your up-to-date information again via a video call? It just... Nothing seems logical about this. Um, instead of spending money on this whole Livy thing, why don't they just get more GPs in our local surgery so that they can cope with the amount of population growth within our town? <sighs> this is so frustrating. But if you... If you guys get this text and whatever, let us know in the comments what you think. Is this a good thing? Is it not? Would you use it? I don't know. It's kind of... This is kind of our thoughts anyway. Don't let our thoughts put you off if it's something that you think might be a good idea. It's just a personal feeling and choice of Sophie and I but otherwise ugh, it's just been a knackering day tomorrow we've got shopping ew your feet are wet yeah it's been raining ew let me put them on you even more mum yeah. oh that hurts a little bit princess okay yes thank you ooh food ugh She's getting very intense lately. After coming out of phys physio yesterday, it was really late. Um, and obviously we were a bit bummed by what they thought was going on. And we've been craving um, pizza for a while. So we hadn't had a takeaway in Alba. Don't be an arsehole. Ugh. Thank you. Um, <laughs> look how she fell. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, we haven't had taken in a little while. So we decided to get like a mini pizza from the local um, pizza place, I guess. And we were really good. We literally just had a meal deal and it was like a nine inch pinch pizza. It was really small and really good. We were, I was quite proud of us for not like normally we would have like a 12 inch pizza each chips and god knows what else but we didn't do all that um and i woke up this morning and i said to soph that i was so hungry following having that last night and yet when we're on one of our fasting days when i have two little yogurts in the morning um and then like hummus and a what are they called those square things thins. those thins bread square things huh Warburton thins. Warburton thins i'll put a picture in here so you can see um we were using pita breads but it was working out with a lot of calories um so we changed it up a little bit but yeah i said to Sophie that i was really hungry and yet when i have our fasting days I'm actually not hungry and it's quite surprising how your body can feel with just those differences it was it wasn't a large meal but it was still a lot more food and yet I was hungry by the morning whereas ordinarily I'm not so we won't be doing that in a hurry but next week it's our anniversary and we go to Bristol to see the Lion King and for this fancy hotel that I don't know about. yeah this fancy hotel that so still knows like not the name nor like all of the details about <laughs> I managed to keep it a secret yay um, but yeah that's kind of been our day so thanks for coming on a stay with us and we'll see you.